like the sweater a lot. I'm a big sweater fan. Oh yeah, it's you dope. Know, very simple design. Just you know, looks like Mount Everest with their mountains. And also like a little font there in the back. True. But uh, oh, see, so yeah, no, it's definitely not Jude. That's definitely not Judas. Okay. Oh, Jude. Yeah, no. Okay. okay. Jude. Excuse me, not, yeah, Judas. not Judas. I saw the hair yeah, and I was like, it's Judas. Yeah, because no. Judas plays uh, Sheik. Yeah, so, yeah. So what, the, the moment. I also saw their their face as well. I'm like, that's definitely not that. Yeah. I saw I saw the hair and I was like, oh, it's Judas. I, I can see the confusion <laughs> with the hair for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. Sorry. So this is Jude. Um, I, I, shoot, I was I was researching where they were from because I had not I'd never heard of this person before, and yeah, I, I can't remember where they're where they're at. So yeah, mystery player Jude from Parts Unknown against uh, <laughs> Sinbad, local hero. Almost looking like Jude was uh, trying to see the response coming from Sinbad. The uh, unpredictable counter there. Yeah. Jeez. Nice tipper. So, a lot of Marth players like to complain about this matchup a lot. And um, I think uh, my biased cheek brain is going to say that it's not as bad as Marth players will lead you to believe that it is for them. Um, and Jude is kind of doing what he needs to do in that respect. A big part of what I think Marth does well in this matchup and the advantages that Marth has uh, is allowing you greater mobility with your dash dance. And uh, Jude's been doing a great job using that tool. It was Sinbad right now, not looking too hot. It's looking pretty uh, rough right now. And Jude taking complete control. Just a little longer, and Sinbad would have just lost their last stock there. Okay. There you go. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a doable comeback for Sinbad to make, but this is, you know, a full stock up when you're in this position is not easy or good. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, Jew taking, honestly, a good amount of percentage, but just when I said that. Ooh, I was uh, expecting an upbeat, but still, you know, that got the job done. And uh, Jew uh, taking that first match. So Battlefield, where to go next? Hmm. Back to Battlefield, that's acceptable, that's reasonable. Yeah, I don't think there's like, like obviously Dreamland is probably the pick that as a Sheik player you're gonna want the most, but like if that's not available to you, then like all, this, all the stages are kind of the same in my opinion. There's not really one that's like that much better. Uh, pretty cool, like, pullback coming from, uh, Jude with the light shield. Pretty much, like, still respecting space when Sidbad is recovering. But, okay. Ooh, good snipe. We'll go right back at you. Okay. Sheik, pretty, you know, I'm starting to notice now, Sheik, a pretty crazy crouch. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Sheik's crouch is, uh, Sheik and low pro basically, like, everything. It's crazy. It's very funny also, too. Uh, Sheik and low profile uh, oh. Captain Falcon's grab. They love it when you do that, by the way. If you want to make friends with Captain Falcon players, pick Sheik and low profile their grab. <laughs> They'll definitely invite you to play again. <laughs> Uh, Sinbad looking pretty confident in this match now. Yeah, he's kind of figured, figured his rhythm out. Ooh. Ooh, not 
the right time to land there in the center. Okay. Oh, good patience coming from uh, Jude there. Fishing, just just pretty much fishing. Okay. A, a little bit. And will this be the... There, yeah, that's it. Game three. That was solidly sided for Jude, game one. So equally sided for Sinbad, game two, on the same stage. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know what to make of that. It's anyone's game at this point. Pokemon Stadium, okay. That ledge grab coming from Sinbad was so slick. Oh, yeah. And Jude was literally with the red carpet pulled underneath. Pretty, pretty hefty amount of damage there. I respect the calm tag that uh, Jude is is rocking right there. I had a, a friend of mine who used to play, and he would put like four letter word to represent whatever thing he wanted to remind himself to do while he would play. Like he would he would put like camp as his tag if he's trying to camp you out, or like other stuff like that, or like slow if he's like stuff like that, or fast if he's trying to be aggressive or aggro, and. I'm curious to see if, or I'm curious to know if Jude, Jude is like employing a similar strategy right now where he's like maybe getting a little worked up and perhaps we should think about yeah, what we're the, doing. Keep, keeping their psyche in control. Exactly. Nice the bash attack there. Oh, okay. That was strange. That was cringe. Not the cringe. <laughs> no, I said strange, oh, not cringe. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a little cringe. It's still pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> Phant Phantom hits can definitely be cringe for sure. Yeah, they're, you know? they're for sure. That might be one of the most cringe parts of Melee, I, I won't lie. Yeah. This is pretty cringe right here. I, the okay. stadium transformations, super cringe. <laughs> I could definitely despise this moment for sure. <laughs> I absolutely hate this transformation. Yeah. Wh which one do you think is worse, the rock one or the burning forest one? Cliffside is easily easily the worst transformation. Cliffside for sure. Cliffside. I cannot stand Cliffside. Too. Yeah, yeah. That's truly the most crazy. Like the windmill one is like acceptable. It's not bad. I, I don't think it's bad at all. The jungle one is fine. Like the forest one is fine. Also, <laughs> I, I was gonna tell you. Also, like when it comes to the transformation, transformations, uh, it really depends on like how confident the player is. True. You know, some players are just like really passive and they don't want to be aggressive with like a specific transformation. And then the other player is more aggressive, right? Really yeah. showing their their individual uh, mental state. I know there's like the situations where you can just like fall through the floor on the, the burning, uh, the burning one. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, like, the bug in that transformation. Too. Yeah, yeah. I think I've only commentated that once, and I think it was like at an older uh, CEO event. Sure, sure. I, I, I could have swear it was like S2J with like another player, but I do remember one of them like falling in the middle. Yeah. And that was insane. Like I was lost in words. Like I couldn't really comprehend what the hell just happened. Sure, sure. Oh no, it's... Jude, Jude is looking good right now. Oh my god. Hey, look, speak of the devil, clip side. Freaking yeah. clip side, dude. So, full stock lead for Jude right here. There's a giant rock just giving us all the middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> See, now, I mean, you might as well just wait. Yeah. Like, there's no reason Jude is going to be pushing towards him. Ooh, the Ford. Do you think he meant to do the other smash? 15%? Or? I don't know, but it got him the percentage. Yeah, and, and, it, look. and the knockdown, and now it's might be the stock. Wow. Ooh, okay. A little too far from the uh, pit there. Ooh, here we go. This is when Jude is going to be sharking for that type of year of the grab. True. Okay. Questionable recovery here, and uh, Sinbad taking full control here. Yeah. 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 You, you can't do that. Sinbad's going to take that inch and, and run it for a mile. Yeah, even Sinbad looking pretty surprised by that stock, actually. <laughs> and you're owned, actually. Uh, yeah. There, <laughs> there yeah. it is. Good stuff. Jude is moving on. Sinbad is out. And, uh, yeah. I think the uh, sweater aesthetic is it's powerful. low key.
I think I think it's like an underrated apparel for sure when it comes to Smash events. Especially like here in Florida where we've got like a million percent humidity at all times. You gotta that's a that's a choice to go out in the sweater, you know. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm one of those characters. Yeah. To where um, it can be like around what, like 80 to 90 degrees outside, and you'll see me with a sweater, and you'll question my existence and say, "What is wrong with this guy? Yeah, what's, like, what's, what's, what's wrong, is going wrong with on that here? dude?" 